The first day I walked on campus and came through the halls, I felt such a sense of peace. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Malaya. It just fills me up spiritually every single day, and it makes me want to be a better person. It makes me want to be closer to God. It makes me want to have a strong relationship with Him. Before I came to this school, I didn't know anything about Jesus, and I wouldn't go to Mass. And now, since I came to this school, they taught me everything I need to know and more about Him. I am the daughter. I am the daughter. I am the son. I am the son. Of the King of Kings. Of the King of Kings. Working at St. Justin's has really reinvigorated my love of teaching. We make sure that we treat the students with dignity, that's really important, with respect, with care, with love. Once you step into school, you feel welcomed. You don't have to like hide who you are. You can express yourself freely. This is where I really learned to stand up for myself. They've taught me that every day that we live is a prayer, so it matters what we do with it. One of the traditions that we have at St. Justin Martyr is the baccalaureate. The first graders, they're very excited to see the older peers um, receiving their awards, their accolades. It's eye-opening for them because it makes them want to strive to do what they've done. I believe that every student should be able to receive a Catholic education. Their economic status, their background, where they come from, should not be a factor of them being able to come and get a Catholic education, to learn about God, to grow, and to be part of a community that is so filled with love. I don't have any brothers, and the uh, boys in seventh and eighth year, I like my brothers, so we have like a special bond. So to me, it's like a brotherhood between us. We're able to give these children a different view of what their future can be. I believe that if God is looking down from heaven, which I know He is, that He's so, so grateful that people as yourselves are giving students an opportunity that they would not ever, ever, ever have without the help that you give them. I myself, many years ago, was that student at, at our school, and Catholic education has truly been life-changing for me. I truly believe that's one of the reasons why I teach in the Catholic school today. Mother Teresa once said, the world is full of good people. If you cannot find one, be one. I'm inviting you to consider being one of those good people that Mother Teresa is calling us to be. We're blessed with many Catholic schools that give life-changing experiences to our young people. Many of these students can't afford to go to our Catholic schools. Scholarships are the lifeblood that allows them to have these life-changing experiences. I invite you to think about, pray about, is the Lord calling you to be one of these good people, to support and give hope to a young person in the most vulnerable part of our county? No gift is too large or too small. All that matters is that you give from the heart. Thank you for your consideration and God bless you for your generosity. This is where I belong. God brought me here and I'm thankful for him. Hey!